today we're going to practice doing division again. And um, what we're going to do is uh, you have a thinking map in front of you, and the thinking map is telling you the steps to division, the thinking process to go through and complete the division problem. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to write down a problem on the board for us. Now, I'm going to start asking us the questions, okay? And when uh, the first question we ask ourselves is that, if we look at this digit right here, and we say, is that digit big enough to let the six in? Because remember that only big people get to let open the door, okay? So they say that five is in the house, and six is on at knocking on the door. Can five let six in? No. No, because... Only only big numbers, numbers that are bigger than that, can let them in, okay? So the answer is no. So what do we do? We look at both numbers. Now, instead of our number being 5, our number is 59. Can 59 is in the house, 6 is knocking on the door. Can 59 let yeah. 6 in? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Well, since we're right here at this number, when we write the number that goes into, we put it right up here in this same spot, right above the 9. Okay? So, now we start working through our steps. Okay? And our steps are divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Does McDonald's serve cheeseburgers? Right? Okay, divide. How many times is 59 put into six groups? This is what we need to know. There's lots of ways to do this, okay? On our sheet it tells us that you could, if the answer is yes, find that box. Everybody use their colored pencil and put uh, a trace around the box that says this right now. So it's this one right here. And it says, if the number will let you in, these are some strategies you can use. Uh, you can use count eyes, you can go pictures, you can do tallies, or you can do math facts. Okay? So let's work through this. I have 59, and I have six groups. So I make my six groups. And I can put the 59 things in those groups. How do I do that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 6, 7, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 50, and 9. Okay? So there should be 5 and left over. Okay, I can't go through my group again because there was only 5 that was left over once I went through my groups the first time. So how many is in one group? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Great, so the answer is 9. And when I was doing my count buys, I got to the number 54. So, 9 times 6 is 54. I divided and I multiplied. The question is, what did I just multiply? Okay? I just multiplied the 9 and the 6. And then I got the number 54. Okay? Now, I have to subtract. And I'm going to subtract 54 from 59. And when I do, I get 5. Hey, here's a little two. How many do I have left over? Okay, and when I subtracted, what was my answer? That's because those are related. Okay? So, is there anything to bring down? No. No, there's no number that's right next to the 9 that I have to bring down. So, I'm finished. Okay, this math problem is done. Now, here's something you need to know that's very important. 
I just drew a picture. If I have to do that for every one of my math problems, draw those pictures, it is going to take me forever to do my work. What is some other strategies we could use than to have to draw this picture? We could count by six, couldn't we? Okay, you could go as far as you could, and then you could go like this. Because counting by six is tough, isn't it? So let's see. We have six. Why did I put on my thumb? Because I just counted once. Six. Twelve. Eighteen. Twenty-four. In my head, I'm going to do this. Six times four is twenty-four. Okay, let's say. Hold on. Do you got something that can help you that could get you closer? Do you know what 6 times 5 is? 30. Okay, we didn't have to count through all those. We can start at 6 times 5. So then we have to go 6 times 6 would be? 36. 6 times 7? 42. 6 times 8? 48. And 6 times 9? 54. Okay, so you don't have to start counting always from the beginning. Sometimes you can start at what's called the landmark, okay? And we always know what fives are. And guess what? If we said what six times five was and it wasn't right, well, we would know we had to go less than five to be able to get to that, okay? And so um, let's do another problem.